Hello and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Reya and I'm a huge makeup addict. And as you saw from the title, today we are trying, uh, doing the first impression and wear test of the uh, Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Um, and yeah, if you want to see how it applies, how it wears, then please keep on watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And let's go test some foundation. Okay, so today uh, we are um, going to test the new-ish Hourglass Foundation Ambient, Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Um, this package came to me like it looked like it was opened, but uh, the pump uh, was clean and the, it, it seems full to me. So this has uh, 30 mils if I remember right. Yes, and this is in the shade 5. Not sure if it's the perfect match for me, but I think it will be fine at the winter. So I took pictures of the, um, so we'll, I can read you the claims, because I have this tablet, it's my son's tablet, uh, but uh, every time I come to my makeup room, uh, the Wi-Fi broke. <laughs> I don't have internet here, so I had to take pictures. So it says in the hourglass pages, of a weightless liquid foundation that delivers 16 hour medium buildable co coverage with a natural soft glow finish, inspired by the iconic ambient lighting, lightning, uh, lighting collection. This long wear formula is infused with blurring spheres that provide light diffusing effect, mi mi minimi minimi minimizing the look of imperfections for uh, skin that looks smooth, even, and glowing in any light. The fluid texture is easily blendable and delivers a second skin finish for a complexion that looks seamless and lit from within. And then uh, there's the features and benefits. Blurs imperfections minimize the look of pores, fine lines and wrinkles. 16 hour wear, natural soft glow finish, transfer resistant, resistant for humidity and sweat. Blue light protection, non-acnegenic, non-comodogenic, vegan and cruelty free. And it says uh, how to use prep skin with moisturizer and primer. Uh, apply a pea-sized amount of foundation to the center of the face and blend outwards using the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation Brush. Um, so yeah, what was so it, it doesn't have alcohol, gluten, parabens, phthalates, I don't know synthetic frag fragrance or talc and like I said it's vegan and cruelty free what was the price um, I can't remember what I paid for it I ordered it from Gold Beauty um, but I'll put all the info in the description box of course uh, if you're wondering yes I filmed this eye look and it will be out at sometime. I just used my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, the hydrating one, and I'm going to do the other face uh, with a brush and other, fa other face, other side of the face with a sponge and other side with a um, brush. So we'll see how it applies best. It's quite Thick consistency. I'm just doing the same way use as usually. It looks quite light, but I still have tan from summer. So let's do this side with sponge. Coverage seems okay. I'm not used to doing 
other side with <laughs> brush and other side with sponge so looks okay mm -hmm. and then I'll take it this is green green clean brush from flyer uh, I remember that the name is buffing foundation brush but I can't remember the number I'm sorry so let's test brush this side I actually think I got more coverage with the sponge. <laughs> That's weird. But they recommended to use the brush. I think it actually looks a bit better with the brush. It's like more that skin like. So let's use brush this side too. Yeah, I think it looks like it looks okay to me. I'm of course doing you a wear test. I think it like clings into some spots. Let's do the neck too. try to get more coverage to the areas where I need it I mean it looks okay it's not the best um, of the foundations that I have tested but it's not bad We'll have to see how it wears. It kind of looks like it's starting to break up in my cheek. But this is what it looks like now. Um, I'm gonna film the other video to the end now and I'll come back with the finished look with this foundation. Okay, here is the finished look today. Uh, I used the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation in this video. And what can I say? It, I mean, it, especially from the far, it looks very pretty. It looks nice on the skin too. It's maybe because I'm not used to um, thick foundations that... Uh, so it looks like a, maybe... Well, it looks like I have makeup on. You know. Surprise, you have makeup on. It looks like that. But I'm just not, not used to that. So it, it doesn't, you know... Now that it has been sitting on my face a bit, I really like it. It looks beautiful. It's glowy, it's medium coverage, so which I like. I don't like full coverage foundations very much. And the powder products, um, I powdered it first before I used the uh, Boreal palette from Little Cosmetics. Uh, so um, I used the Anastasia uh, Translucent Loose Setting Powder because it's my all time favorite and I trust it. Uh, very much and I used my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra, Ultra Glow 
uh, setting spray because that's also some uh, one product that I really trust and really like. So yeah, I think this foundation is it worth the price tag? Probably not. You can get um, similar uh, from She Glam. But I'm really happy that I bought it. I bought it because many with the uh, dry skin in YouTube was saying that it looks good on them. And I agree, it looks good. Of course, not. I'm not super dry yet. Uh, the, but when the winter comes, we'll see how it goes. And I think the shade match was okay. Maybe a bit light, but you know, when the time goes down, it's very good. So, um, would I recommend it? Yeah, if you have money, why not? It's, it, it has nice finish. But, of course, I will do the check-in. Um, it's, I think it's about 11 a.m. now. So, I'm trying to wear it until 8. So, then it will be, have been on my face, maybe 9. Maybe 10 hours. I'm not sure do I do, um, if I see dramatic change in my face, I will do a checkup at the uh, at middle of the um, testing, but at least at the end of the uh, day, you will see how it looks like after that. And I'm not going to do any touch-ups with it during the day. So, you will see that a shot next and... Yeah. Hi, I wanted to come show you a little bit of this foundation in the natural light. This is my front camera and it's about 3 p.m. now so it's been on quite a while. My glasses always leave the marks on my face and on my nose but I think the pores um, are not... I had chocolate in my lip. <laughs> I think the pores aren't blurred but they don't look bad. I don't think it looks bad. My forehead is a bit shiny, but, and around my nose, and I'm hot also. But yeah, I think it, it wears pretty well at, this, at least this far. I have nothing to complain about it, at least not yet. Well, we see you at the end of the day. Okay, here is the Final checkout at the evening, it's almost 9 p.m. Um, as we are talking about the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow, Glow Foundation. I forgot earlier in the video say say that I have the shade 5 of this. But yeah, um, let me look. Um, it's looking a bit dry, to be honest, especially here in my jaw, my chin and on my cheeks here. Uh, my forehead is quite shiny. I haven't done any touch-ups. Uh, but it, it actually, it doesn't look that bad. It looks a bit cakey in here around my nose but it can also be because of the glasses rubbing and uh, making it uh, go to certain um, areas to gather in there but like I can't see like it sinking into my fine lines or uh, smile lines or anything um, let me try to I'll try to zoom in a bit in the in the um, when I'm editing the video, but especially from the far, it doesn't look bad. It looks really good. No one really comes this close to see uh, look what your face looks like. But now uh, it doesn't look like my pores are emphasized anymore. But uh, my skin does look a bit textured. And a bit, you know, dry. This has been on my face now from, it was 11, uh, I mean 10.30 a.m. So it's been almost 
well about 10 hours so yeah i i like it it's it did look better with the brush so yeah i'm happy that i bought it um it is quite pricey but yeah uh, i think it was worth it uh, especially because for me it's very hard to find uh, foundations and concealers that um, would you know be good for my skin because i have dry and i have atopic skin so i don't have too many foundations and uh, because my skin is difficult i am ready to pay a bit more uh, if I get good results so um, yeah not all probably want to pay the price but I don't mind I don't mind and yeah I think it's nice um, I don't think it was blurring at the beginning but we'll see I of course keep trying this and I will come back with the uh, full review after I've used it a few more times, couple, I don't know how many times, but you know. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload. And yeah, we will see you hopefully very soon. Bye!